Over four decades have passed since the Queen Bean and Jerobomba region has seen a new secondary school in the area. Today marked the turning of the first sod in Gugong, so students no longer have to hop across the ACT border to complete their studies. For the first time in 42 years, the sod has been turned for a new secondary school in the Jerobomba and Queen Bean area. Two, three. Yes. <laughs> Today marks the commencement of construction for a senior campus at the Anglican School in Gugong, something much needed to cater for a growing community. There's massive demand. I mean, if you look at the growth of Gugong itself, if you look at rural residential areas around here as well, a lot of people are coming into the region and it's a high growth area. So to provide yet more places for students is a fantastic opportunity for them to stay within the local community. One million dollars will be injected from the New South Wales government to get the school underway, offering another option option of schooling for residents in the region. The New South Wales government has a $50 million uh, scheme in supporting uh, non-government schools uh, and has been in place for a number of years and it's about supporting choice uh, in, in New South Wales. The bigger the school, the more students are in the school. Preparing students without having to jump over the border. Well look what we talk about, we talk about being school 22, that is we're preparing the students who are going to be developing the leaders for the 22nd century. We need ed education to do jobs. The first stage of construction will be complete for next year with the first cohort of Year 12 students set to graduate in 2023. Alison Hatley, Win News.